So today was an interesting day. I went to, I'm just going to grab a fork because we'll oh, sorry, find out in a minute. Um, I went to Modern Bread and Bagel in um, on the Upper West Side. It's around 83rd Street, just around the corner from uh, Mexico. And um, I was invited to come down and, you know, see the place, taste the wares and all of that. But as you know, we plan God laughs and we're driving down there, me and my daughter, and I get a phone call um, from my friend uh, who invited me. And he says, so I just wanted to let you know that um, there's currently no water because they had to turn the water off. But please come. I said, oh, okay. See, I shut the place down even before I got there. So proper VIP treatment. Anyway, went there, beautiful store. It's the, the decor is just, it's very calm, very chill. Um, I didn't actually get an inside photo of the place because again, it was, you know, they weren't in their full mode and I didn't want to kind of do the kind of winding down type look. Anyway, we'll get to the food. So I couldn't actually, we couldn't actually eat much there because they had no running water, which meant that they couldn't actually make anything. However, they still had stuff in their uh, food case and I was able to uh, come home with a few salads. Uh, we came home with some of the, the pokey. Now, you just gotta try some of this pokey. I'm just gonna go here. It's kind of salmon. There's still, I really wish you could smell this. It's absolutely delicious. And then you bite in. Mm. It's almost like eating a cream cheese bagel and smoked salmon bagel without it having the bagel. You've got the dill flavors in there. It's kind of creamy-ish. And the salmon itself, so soft. And I'm not usually one to eat the raw salmon. I'm much more of a raw tuna person. Anyway, as well as that, we picked up a couple of salads. This is a eggplant and a sweet potato. So we're gonna go there. Mm. That's a bit of a crunchy eggplant. You look extra for them. Mm. Really mm. The flavors are really good and really strong. That was a bit much of a crunchy one. Sometimes you get an eggplant that's a bit soft. Ah, that's a much more softer eggplant. Mmm. Mmm. Again, that kind of a toasty flavour in there. Nutty-ish almost. We do like it. And then, oh, one of my favourite things to eat is like onion, salad onion. Especially when it's mm, crunchy, marinated. They have some uh, asparagus here. Oh my gosh, and I can't even begin to tell you, I don't know what's in the salad, because you know me, not always fully paying attention to what was going on around me. Anyway, oh, this looks like, is that eggplant? No, that looks like zucchini. Mmm, that's nice and crunchy. Now, the next part, this is what it's about, the bread. So let's take a look at the bread. You can see, it's nice, it's got a nice fluffy breadiness. And the fact is, is this is, um, gluten-free bread. So I'm always very um, apprehensive about gluten-free breads, but let's see how it goes. Mm. Well, it was my first experience of a gluten-free roll. Now, it's not the same as like a flour bread roll, but it's got good flavor. Need something on it. I couldn't personally. I can't eat it alone. I'm gonna actually put some of the salmon on it and see how that works. Let's see. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. I'm quite enjoying that. I will say that the poke is absolutely really good. I'm just passing off camera some of the bread to my daughter, who's standing behind me, who's going to pass me the jams, which I cannot open just yet. But we got picked up some jams. Now they're making their own jams there. However, the thing about the jams, I can't currently open them. I'm trying to open them and I can't. So we're gonna have to run them under water, but I wanna get into this. So this looks like a marmalade. And then there one is a blueberry fig, I think. And then there is one that they're not quite sure. The chef can't remember what he put in it. 
so and because um, they haven't yet got them on the right ceiling and whatever they can't actually sell these yet so they do actually have them out and we were able to take some home with us one day we might actually be able to open them anyway what I will say about modern bread, bread and bagel on the Upper West Side uh, I think it's 472 Columbus Avenue I would say go definitely had an amazing time it was lovely to meet that we met josh who happens to be actually a celiac so when it comes to the actual gluten free it's like real gluten free because it's so that people can eat that and they also have the ikc hashgaha and they will be opening up um at nights where they're going to have something like a selection of about 200 wines mavushal and non-mavushal wines so this is quite an exciting venture that's going to happen and i'm really really excited to go back and uh, see what they do when they uh have their when they when they actually have water running so i actually might pop back there next week or in the next few weeks because i need to meet some friends in the city anyway but definitely a new a good new addition i think to the upper west side i think the community there is going to be really happy and i think they're going to be happy there the owners actually come from uh, originally Engle, uh, live in Englewood, so they travel in every day. Anyway, so I couldn't actually take you into the restaurant, but I brought the restaurant here. And then this is my light box where I take all my lovely photos. And uh, yeah, so uh, I would say yes to uh, Modern Bread and Bagel, Bagel and Bread. I'm probably pronouncing it completely wrong. I'll make sure it goes into the comments so that you know exactly where you're going. And uh, what a very nice uh, afternoon I spent. Anyway, so... Uh, thoroughly recommend anyways if you liked this video please hit subscribe on my uh hit the subscribe button and see it go from red to dark and uh, you can like the video as well you can also find me on instagram under kosher alcoholic you can also find me on instagram hashtag kosher alcoholic and you can find me on twitter and on facebook just type in hashtag kosher alcoholic and i'll appear Anyway, have a good one. I can never get the video bit at the end and uh, I will see you all soon.